surrounded by steppers, I got control in this bitch. I'll book you for a show and get you showed in this bitch. Cause I'm all who you say I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they lose, we call they phone like yes. That hate, it be bust downs and clutch on poles, he love for me. I be fucking this NBA nigga, bitch, you know I ain't never gonna say shit. Now my top, so nigga, what you won't do? I'm with some niggas with no name. When you say something, they like, ooh. Don't know who I want, you the one I want. Mm. What up, gang? I'm bite with another one. This video right here, you already read that title, you already know what's going on. All right, let's get straight into it. All right, if you don't know, Kevin Gates and Youngboy had became very close at one point in time. They did a whole mixtape together. And I'm talking about uh, even Youngboy started feeling like Kevin Gates was like a big brother. And Kevin Gates felt the same, you know what I'm saying, like Youngboy was a little brother. And he took him under his wing. He even had uh, NBA Youngboy to cross over and become Muslim. That's how much he uh, was a effect to young boy life. You know what I'm saying? And um, if you don't know, long time ago, before young boy was signed, he was making noise. He was making noise. You know what I'm saying? And um, he say one day, Kevin Gates reached out to him and say, I see you. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? They see you. And he basically said like a couple months after that conversation, labels went to call him. And my understanding of what happened was Gates put in the word to the labels like he wanted them ones. Y'all go get them. You feel what I'm saying? And Gates shared lighter he he shared a light on young boy and that's how young boy got a deal once gates turned the um turned them labels on the young boy them labels started watching young boy and they signed him all right now gates after he got signed gates ain't reached out to him about nothing years later when they lock in and they got real close Gates presented the opportunity like, listen, you know what I'm saying? You know I'm the one that got your deal. I should get a 10% finder's fee. If you don't know, it's something that goes on in the industry. It's called a finder's fee. It's like 10%. Uh, just say if you're an artist and I see you got talent, right? And I'm already in the game or I'm connected to the industry somehow. Hey. Look, such and such got talent. Y'all need to y'all need to mess with this kid. Sign this kid. And this kid gets signed. I supposedly, if the paperwork right or if the business right, should get a 10% finding fee. Like basically, you owe me 10% for even put like it's like putting you on. Even though I'm not the one that signed you, I'm the one that got you the deal. You know what I'm saying? Because I told them. Hey, this kid right here is, and they go sign you. So it's like a 10% a finder's fee. And that's basically what Kevin Gates felt like he deserved. Now, young boy said it in the song. You know what I'm saying? You want 10% of my money so somebody else could pay me. You're basically saying like he just summed up like, nigga, you want 10% of what somebody gave me for a deal. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you and it's up there. That basically, you know what I'm saying? You know how young boy is at the same time. Do I feel he should have gave Kevin Gates that 10%? Put it like this. In the interview, he said it out his mouth. Kevin Gates made that call, told him keep going. They watching. Three months later, he got signed. And he said he felt like Kevin Gates put that in their ear. So, if he feel that way, 
then yeah, I feel like if that was me, yeah, I, I would have thrown something because he, it changed his life. It changed his life. You know what I'm saying? Anytime somebody put you in a position or help you get in a position to change your life, it's only right to show them that you appreciate it. You feel what I'm saying? It's only right. So, tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think young boy should have gave him that 10% that he asked him for? Or, this another scenario. Do y'all think that Gates should have even let it be known from the beginning, from the jump? Look, I'm going to look out for you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? But I want a 10% finding fee. I'm gonna get you. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the labels to look at you and get you a deal. But I want a ten percent finance fee. Should he? Should he should have did that? But think about it though. Gates waited till he blew up, so he really got the money. Like you could look at it like that too. Gates ain't pressure about no paper. He waited till he really got that money stacked up to be like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a ten percent finance fee. You feel what I'm saying? So at the same time, it's all depends on to me what type of person you is. And I don't and just because you won't give them the money, that don't mean you're a bad person. You know what I'm saying? That just mean you you strongly feel different about certain things. Well put in the comments what y'all think. Gang. Okay.